Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to set up chart of accounts in Zoho Books. After this video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve our video library. Here are some of the key takeaways from uh, our video today. First, chart of accounts consists of a variety of different accounts used in the general ledger of a company that are classified into various account types such as income, expenses, um, equity, liability, and assets. If you have an existing chart of accounts, you can import it into Zoho Books to get started. And you can also set the opening balances for the accounting periods in Zoho Books. So let's go into Zoho Books now, and we can go over this in a little bit more detail. To get to the chart of accounts, on the left side, where you see the blue for a dashboard, you're going to go down and click on Accountant, and then Chart of Accounts. And as you can see here, we have a whole variety of different account names. Uh, and if you see along the top, you have the account name, the account code if we had wanted to include one, the type of account, and you can sort according to that, and you can show the transactions in a report for each account type. And this is our testing and sample demo um, instance of Zoho Books, so we don't have anything here, but you would be able to click on and see all the details for each account. And you can also filter if you wanted to. We're on all ac active accounts. Uh, inactive accounts, you can just do the asset accounts if you needed to just look at that. Um, equity accounts, whatever, whatever you'd like, like to do here. Um, now, what you can do is you may have a different, a new account type that's not included here. So you can click on the red plus new account. You can add the account name as you want it to be. Um, I'm going to make this a test expense account. You can um, then pick the category it is, whether it's assets or equity or income or expense. I'm going to put this under expense. If you'd like, you can make this a sub account. So it could go as a sub account under, um, I don't know, maybe air, and tra air travel expense. And then if you had a code, you could use that if you had a description. Then you can choose whether to add the, the account to your watch list on your dashboard, and then whether you want to show it as an active account in Zoho Expense. And then when you were to save this, now if I look for test account, I'll just start with filtering out expenses. And you can see here the test account is now a um, a sub account under air travel expense the way we set it up and here you can see is what we had created the other thing you can do depending on um, whether you have a chart of account already existing is that you can import that chart of accounts so if you were to click on import you would then want to choose the file that you want and if we just switch see, uh, screens for a minute you can see here that I have an existing spreadsheet ready to upload, and it has different columns and uh, different information put into it. So if I go back into Zoho, I can choose the file that I'm going to um, load. Now I have a sample of file in there, and I can click Next. Oops, I have to do it as a CSV. I, I didn't have the right format, so let me do it as a CSV. You can see we have CSV, file uh, delimiter, comma, by default, comma is assumed to be the delimiter. We're going to leave it at that. I'm going to click on Next. And then, similar to um, other things you do in Zoho CRM, you need to map uh, the columns. So here, the Zoho Books field versus the imported header fields. We have account name, matches account name. Um, because this was a sample from Zoho, it will all match. 
but if you wanted to change any of these if you wanted to get rid of them um, or change it you you just go through a standard mapping of this and then you would do next and then you'd be able to accounts that are ready to be imported you would do two number of records skip you would do one and it would say that Citibank that was an invalid account number so it wouldn't be able to to uh, import that one and if there were any unmapped fields they would show up here as well I'm going to cancel out of this since we don't um, need this right now and then so as you can see we have all of this information and we've seen how what the accounts are we can choose which ones we want to use uh, we have some with settings and you can mark as inactive you can edit you can delete uh, and all that and then the other thing that you can do if you go to settings if you're if this is new into Zoho or if it's a new fiscal year if you need to change the opening balances you can change those as well and you would come in um, I went to the settings up at the top here I chose opening balances and now I can go in and I can edit and I could set let's say um, March 1st was our new fiscal year I can go ahead and set a date here I can enter in um, information necessary for for the various uh, accounts and you could see here accounts receivable it says click here to enter and this is where you would put in exchange rate, the amount, the dollar, the currency, if you wanted to add anything in here. And then all the others, you can just add in the amounts as you want. So I'll just show you. I will put in um, 150. And then you can see we have a debit of 150 in the account receivables. And then once you do this and you go through all of your accounts, any new accounts you'd want to add, you can add here. And then you would um, see what your total debits and credits are. And you can see that because of what we did, there's a $200 um, gap. And they will Zoho Books will create an opening balance adjustments for that $200 to get us to the 212 to balance out the books here. And then you would press continue just to have this set as your opening balances. I'm not going to do that today. But then if you wanted to uh, get out of settings, get back, here you are again in the chart of accounts. And again, this includes a list of all of the different accounts that you have. So let's go back to our takeaways. Um, so the chart of accounts consists of a variety of accounts used in the general ledger of a company. And they're classified into various account types, such as equity or assets or liabilities, et cetera. If you have an existing chart of account, you can import it into Zoho to get started. And you can also set the opening balances for the accounting period in Zoho Books if you need to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if so, please check out the, our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.